Okay, we're starting off with our gingerbread dough and we're going to have some flour to help keep it from sticking to the rolling pin. So we just sprinkle that on and then just start rolling. I'm rolling it out on parchment paper and sometimes the parchment paper does slide so I tend to pull it off the edge of the counter and put my hip, put it between my hip and the, and the counter here and then that holds it and we just keep going round and round get a nice even roll out if you need to add more flour to keep it from sticking then go ahead and do that you don't want to have too much flour on there and so we're just going to keep rolling it out until it's nice and even After a while, you don't need to hold the parchment paper anymore. Okay, so we can have that there. Now we're going to lay a couple of our house pieces on. For this I'm doing a, a side and a front piece. Now you can do this with just a regular knife or a sharp knife. I like to use a, a small pizza roller, pizza cutter. So you just hold your template down, take your pizza roller, roll it along your template. Make sure you cut all the way through. That's one. Now I've left a little bit of spacing in between the two pieces here. So that way when it expands while it's baking, it does not, the pieces don't touch each other. So we're almost done here. Okay, lift your templates up and off. And then at this point, what we're going to do is we are going to pull away all of the extra dough. Because what we're going to do is we're going to actually bake this on the parchment paper. Because what that that helps us with is if you were to just to roll this out on a on a rolling board and then you have to transfer the pieces to your cookie sheet sometimes those your house pieces can get distorted and so when they're baking they're not going to have the proper shape so that when you go to put your house together you're going to have a little bit of a wonky house the middle piece here and we're ready to go we put this in the oven since it's on the paper see how nice it it slides around we'll be able to just throw that onto a cookie sheet that doesn't have a lip on it and we just put it there this cookie sheet is now ready to go into the oven